Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Glad to have you with me for this end of the week episode where we're bringing you the best of the week. Every single Friday, I try to share with you my two favorite research topics of the week and not things that I think are overwhelming or things that you can't implement, but exactly the opposite, things that you can immediately take action on for yourself, for your family, for your wellness clients, if you're a practitioner. And you can also share them on social media because the more people that know about this, the better. I also try to bring you a book review, what I'm reading this week. This week is one based on rewiring the mind. So stay tuned for this. Uh, This was an interesting book because it is a doctor of physiology teaming up with a doctor of psychiatry. So two different aspects of basically exploring the body and the mind, how they work together. Now, this was an interesting book, very different uh, in terms of its scope and how it's reaching people. But honestly, um, it's all about trying to help people feel better in the both the mind and the body. So I can't wait to share that with you. And I've got a great product review. This is essentially by popular demand. I've been getting so many questions around this company. Um, the sheets that I've recommended in the past, now they're pajamas. Uh, pillowcases and more. So these are things that everybody needs. And so I'm going to share with you you exactly what we do uh, in my family as well. And then of course, podcast recap, so much more. But let's get started with the private practice, what we have going on, uh, what I've been thinking about over the past week, and then we'll dive into all of those items that I just spoke about. So Tomorrow is actually episode 2500. So this is basically just me saying thank you, of course, for being along for this ride. I couldn't do this show, wouldn't do this show without you. And now we are 20. 500 episodes in. I really don't make a big deal about any of these milestones. I honestly don't. I just say, okay, we're just rolling on through because there is no plan to stop. We put out a daily show. I am the one, yes, speaking and trying to do my best to teach, but I have an amazing team editing the videos, uh, curating, basically taking my content putting it out onto social media, onto my website, and allowing me to do what I do, which is research and read and essentially try to teach as well. So appreciate you. Thank you so much. Tomorrow's episode 2500. Uh, and it, you know, I think it's fitting because it's our Cabral house call. So this is me just sitting down, reading your questions, doing my best to help in any way that I can. Um, so again, thank you so much. And, and also I wanted to give a little shout out to our community as well, because again, Without you tuning into the show, subscribing to the show, or downloading the show, we wouldn't be where we are. So we're actually top 10 in alternative health and top 50 in all of health um, in iTunes. So a lot of fun. I mean, if you haven't reviewed the show, we would love for you to do that. It literally takes maybe 30 seconds of your time. And uh, once again, we appreciate your subscribes and your downloads. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you. So again, thank you so much. We're rolling into the holiday season And uh, I hope you are enjoying your holiday season. And, uh, you know, again, just keep it healthy. Keep it safe during this time of the year. We've got a few more weeks to enjoy before we roll into that new year. Big things coming in 2023, that's for sure. All right, what do we have going on over at Equal Life, our integrative virtual practice? Well, this week, and um, again, I'm excited to be able to share this as well. Two things. One, our brand new whole food bars are essentially re-debuted. So for the last year, we've only had our apple cinnamon bars, which are a crowd favorite. There's no doubt about that. But we've been able to bring back our chocolate brownie decadence, which is our number one bestseller. And we're also bringing back the sunny date delight. So those bars um, I loved, my family loved. The And the only issue was, is that we were not able to Pace with demand for our baker. The easiest ones for we were able to produce with the apple cinnamon bars. So what we did was we found a new baker. And because again, these are actually baked bars. These are all natural bars. Like there's literally, you can pronounce all of the ingredients, even the Sacha Inchi protein, which is a nut-free protein, making these, a, they're school safe for most schools. Of course, you'll need to check with your children's school, but their bars are for kids and adults. They're only about 150 calories all natural, absolutely delicious. Highly recommend you checking them out. You can find them just at stephencabal.com forward slash shop. But again, vegan, hypoallergenic, plant-based. They're uh, allergen friendly, so free of the top nine allergens and absolutely delicious. So check them on out at stephencabal.com forward slash shop. And there is one more thing I wanted to bring to your attention that my team put in my notes for the week. And that is a free bottle of our best-selling CBD gummies. These are full-spectrum CBD gummies. They're the only CBD gummies that I know of in the industry that has no artificial flavors. 
and no artificial colors. So they're absolutely delicious naturally. They're watermelon flavored and they have 10 milligrams of full spectrum cannabinoids per CBD gummy. So you can use them for any age really that you deem okay for you and your children, uh, but also adult-based dosages are typically two gummies and you can always do as many as you'd like. A lot of people use four to six gummies. It's totally up to you. It's depending on how calm and how much you wanna turn down that nervous system. So again, without giving any medical advice, people use them all the time for anxiety, for healthy levels of inflammation, for sleep, and so much more. If you've never experienced the power of CBD, this is a great way to do it. You get your bottle completely free on all qualifying orders by heading on over to stephencabral.com forward slash shop. All right, moving on, let's go through our podcast recap for the week. And that was episode 2495. 2495, I wanted to share with you that that was our Mindset and Motivation Monday, and it was how to overcome uncertainty and go after your dreams. So again, for me, it is all about achieving abundance in all areas of your life. And so if you feel like you're being held back anywhere, if you feel like you're not reaching your potential or you're trying to squelch your potential in the background because you know you don't want to go after it for one reason or another, um, plain small in life, I don't want that for you. So it's my job. I consider it to teach yes on health, but also health of the mind as well. So definitely check out these Mindset and Motivation Mondays uh, on episode 2496, which is Tuesday show. We went over vitamin D deficiency symptoms uh, on episode, let's see, 2497 was eliciting the relaxation response anytime you need it. Love that show. That's based on uh, longevity as well, some scientific studies. And yesterday's show was using exercise to block fat storage. So that, again, all based on science, easy ways, though, things that you can do every single day in your own life to optimize your body and, of course, mind. All right, so that was the podcast recap for the week. You can find all shows by heading on over to stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. And specifically for today, head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2499 because I'm about to link up with special offers, our product review of the week, which is just for our community, uh, as well as our book review and research for the week. All right, so the this is... This is a product that I had no idea would be as popular as it is because I've pretty much done one thing my entire adult life, which is the health and the fitness based industry. So again, started as a nutritionist and personal trainer, then strength and conditioning specialist, then got really deep into anti-inflammatory nutrition and all that before it was even like the thing to do. Uh, Then got my doctoral degree in naturopathy, studied all sorts of integrative health and like that's what I've done. So I know very little about the other outside like worlds, but I do know uh, a little bit about healthy biohacking. And so my goal has always been, how can I optimize my external, by basically me giving ex- energy out, but then also taking energy back in. So I've always tried to optimize that. And one thing that I found for myself that I loved is bamboo-based sheets. And here's why. It sounds weird, I know, but here's the thing. You're, you're in bed for like eight hours a night. You know, somewhere around there, right? Seven to nine hours, hopefully. So the thing is, you need to make sure that you're getting not just time in bed, that you're also getting 90 minutes of deep sleep and two plus hours of REM sleep. One of the ways that it helps to do that is to lower your body temperature. Well, when you sleep in on bamboo sheets, they are cooling to the touch. So yes, People who run hot love them. Uh, Women in menopause love them. People in hot climates love them. But honestly, they're temperate, which means use them all year round. And then in the winter, if you're in a colder climate like New England, you just put a comforter on. But I'm telling you right now, the cozy earth sheets are one of the most popular things that I've ever, ever recommended, which is fantastic. Part of that is that our community gets 40% off. And so that's fantastic. But that's not even what I'm here to share with you. So the only reason why I share that with you is because they are unbelievably popular. So the code is Cabral40. If you want to use it, uh, we'll link it up today at stephencabral.com forward slash 2499 because we have a special link for our community. But really, once I found out how popular it was, I said, okay, let me ask our community. And when I was at the IHP event this past uh, October, I was at the VIP table and I was having lunch with all these amazing IHPs. And we were just talking about like our favorite healthy biohacking type things. And again, this is biohacking in my opinion because you're getting better sleep. Well, they said, have you ever tried their 
pajamas. And I said, I've never tried, you know, bamboo pajamas. And I had three or four women at the table raving about the pajamas. So what I did was ordered my wife these nice bamboo pajamas. And so the bamboo pajamas are actually made out of uh, what's called 95% viscose bamboo, which means they're essentially the same material as the sheets. So you're sleeping in something that is like unbelievably soft, breathable, it's moisture wicking. So if you do have night sweats or anything like that, and your body naturally sweats a little bit um, as you are sleeping, it's like sleeping in the sheets. So you can wear these all day long. So I just, I guess you could wear your pajamas all day long, I guess if it's the weekend, but you can wear these easily, obviously at night uh, and through the morning. So I don't want to wrinkle these all up uh, because this is a gift for my wife. The, the olive color, which I never would have thought to get, they're like, get a pair of the olive because um, very few people have the olive color, but also they are beautiful in this color. And so this is the short sleeve set and the shorts that come together. So if you see this, if you're watching this on video, if not, I'm holding up, um, they're a button down, so super soft, small buttons, um, and it is collared. And again, like it's almost like throwback pajamas to back in the day, but much, much softer, much softer than cotton, much more breathable and moisture wicking. So this is, they make a long sleeve set and they make a short sleeve set. So I have the short sleeve set right here in all of, but of course they have many different colors to choose from. So I'm gonna be packaging this up as a holiday based gift. And one other thing that I wanted to share with you. So again, I'll link up the pajamas here for you. But one thing I wanted to share with you is this, because we have the bamboo pillowcases. And the reason why I'm showing you again, if you're watching this on video, you can always watch it on video when the podcast releases on my website. So today is stephencabral.com forward slash 2499. But you can check it out on YouTube. And we would love for you to subscribe right on YouTube, new daily videos. Uh, but we produce a lot of YouTube-based shorts and content. So definitely check it out. Now, again, beautiful packaging makes a beautiful gift. And this right here is one of their brand new silk pillowcases. And you might say, well, why a silk pillowcase over a bamboo pillowcase? Two reasons. The main reason is um, commutogenic, so cosmetic based. So when you use silk over everything else, it is the absolute best thing for your skin and hair. It will not draw the oils out of your skin and it will preserve the moisture in your face and hair overnight. So this is a unbelievably popular product. My wife had already been using silk pillowcases, so she's the one who turned me onto this. I tell her all the time, like, you need to be teaching more about all the different cosmetic and, and uh, skin-based, healthy skin-based programs that, that you uh, are using yourself. But this was one big thing, said easy, people should be using silk, bamboo, uh, silk uh, pillowcases and you wanna look for mulberry silk. 100% mulberry silk, that is what Cozy Earth uses. And again, we are now, well, I've, I have not been using the silk pillowcase. I'll be switching over now. Now, this is the one that I got for myself. They make uh, standard, and I believe they make king as well. So this is even softer than bamboo, but specifically made for the face. So uh, again, what I wanna share with you is if you head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2499, you can use the code Cabral40 and use the link that we give you. It's going to take you right over there and make sure that you take 40% off, which is an amazing offer uh, for these high-end based sheets, pajamas, and now pillowcases. All right. So that is my product review of the week. Yes, sheets, pajamas, and pillowcases. I never thought I'd be reviewing that, but honestly, that is by popular demand the the women that I sat with at my table were raving about the pajamas, so I said, let's do it. You know, that's going to be part of our product review. All right, so our book review of the week is called The Rewired Brain. I've been reading a ton of books lately. Uh, part of it is because I've been traveling a lot. So whenever I get on a plane, sometimes I'll do some work. I'll do writing specifically um, because then I can just stay focused, put on my headphones, listen to binaural beats, and just go to work. Uh, but I also love to read. And so I'm typically reading for like half the flight, working maybe for half the flight, or all one flight writing, all one flight reading. And um, to Boston, it's about three hours. So um, this book was recommended, actually this book was not recommended to me. I wanna share this with you. Very rarely do I not bring up a book already with me. Um, so I already had two books in my bag, but I saw this in the airport. So almost never do I buy an airport book. 
But this one called The Rewired Brain obviously triggered something in my brain to be like, hey, check out this book. And I didn't buy it at first. I, I bought my waters, I sat back down, and then I went back and I said, you know what, that, I wanna learn more about that book because again, you know that I'm uh, a nerd when it comes to reading. And so I picked it up and I said, interesting, a um, professor in physiology uh, meets a professor or uh, basically an addiction psychiatrist and they talk about this book. And it's, it's interesting because the author is Dr. Ski Chilton, and I apologize because that's probably not how you pronounce that. But it's looking at it from their perspective of not finding the meaning that they were looking for in life, not understanding how religion or God fits into the equation. What should we look for outside of religion? Like it was almost an exploration. And it was from a very, I look at it from like a very clinical perspective. So this was like a no fluff book on looking at why our brain gets stuck and what we can do to essentially rewire it. So um, I'm only halfway through the book, just to let you know, full, full disclosure. Um, I've, I've skimmed the last part so I'd be able to give you a, a pretty good review of this, but um, I have enjoyed it, I really have. It is worth reading. I'll tell you when I don't think a book is worth reading. This book is easy to read. So it's about 230, 240 pages. And uh, it's very straightforward, very clean. If you've never heard about system one, system two of the brain, I'll be, I'll be teaching more about that as well. This kind of takes you through that thinking and helps you to just become more aware of what thoughts you're getting stuck in. And like, so if you find yourself just in this cycle of thinking the same thoughts every day and not move, being able to move forward to living your best life, I think this is a, a good book to check out. So um, it's called The Rewired Brain. And it is free yourself of negative behaviors and release your best self. We teach a lot of this type of psychology in IHP Mastery. Uh, if you're already in IHP, I invite you to check that out as well by going to ihp.coach forward slash mastery. All right, let's go over our two research studies for the week. The first one is a study um, out of, uh, let's see, this is out of Psychopharmacopia, I believe. I'm going to link this up. Uh, but it is on vitamin B6 supplementation. So it's actually called High Dose Vitamin B6 Supplementation Reduces Anxiety and Strengthens Visual sur uh, Surround Suppression. So this, is a, this was a great study. It really was because they didn't just compare like B6 versus the placebo. They compared B6 versus B12 versus the placebo, which was a, a lactose-based capsule. And um, they gave 1,000 micrograms of B6 so, I'm sorry, B12, that's not a small dosage. Like that's a legitimate dosage for vitamin B6, for vitamin B12. So they compare that like, okay, like does B12 work for anxiety as well? And then they used 100 milligrams, which is a high dosage of vitamin B6. Typically we use uh, 25 milligrams of vitamin B6 um, in a lot of things like our daily nutritional support. And then if we need an add-on, we'll do the activated B complex, which is another, uh, I believe, 25 to 50 milligrams of vitamin B6. Okay, so what did they find though? Well, they found that vitamin B6 outperformed B12 and the placebo did absolutely nothing, which you know we would hopefully expect. But again, usually there is some benefit, of course, from the placebo thinking that you might be getting something which improves overall anxiety. So, but here's the thing. Again, if, like, let's say that you are understanding uh, how human physiology works. And like, that's why I always have a difficult time with medical doctors saying that supplements don't work. If, if, they, if you do not understand human physiology and nutritional biochemistry, then you can say that, right? Like that, that's the thing. And again, like I'm not looking to put anybody down specifically, but you have no business saying that if you don't understand nutritional biochemistry. And that's because if you want to create GABA, which is the anti-anxiety neurotransmitter, and you want to create dopamine, which is the reward-centered neurotransmitter, like gives you ambition and drive, and you want to create serotonin, which is the happy, feel-good, antidepressive neurotransmitter, you need one main B vitamin, and that's vitamin B6. Paradoxal 5-phosphate, I believe in this study, I'm just going by memory, it was paradoxin hydrochloride, so a salt version of it, which is fine. Again, they're, they're both fine. P5P actually gets absorbed the best, paradoxal 5-phosphate. But again, B6, you can use it. Okay, so here's the thing, though. If you are deficient in vitamin B6, and some people genetically need more, 
you're not going to be able to use this cofactor, think of it as a coenzyme, to help create serotonin, GABA, or dopamine. And what they found is not only were they able to reduce anxiety, re reduce anxiety notably, that's what I wanted to say, just combine all those words together, but they found something that they were able to strengthen what is called visual surround suppression. That means they were able to allow them to remove the distractions in the periphery and focus on one thing. So again, this is what real research is all about. There's no patent on vitamin B6, right? There's just best forms of it. And so my recommendation is never to single supplement most things. I like the daily nutritional support plus the activated B complex. And that gives you all of the different methyl-based donors and, and other things that help support it as well. Now, again, I'm glad that they're bringing vitamin B6 to the forefront because I my mentor introduced me to vitamin B6 back when I was 27. It was, it was a game changer for me. Magnesium glycinate, vitamin B6, these were game changers, and, um, and they, they absolutely did help uh, me to calm my stress notably, like notably, so that I could get better sleep and just reduce the overall fight or flight. So again, um, it's easy to get, but I just want to share that with you because these things do matter and they do work. All right, the second, and I'll link these up, stephencabral.com forward slash 2499. And if, you ever, if we're ever missing a research link, again, we publish a podcast a day, so it's a lot of work for my team. Just let us know. Just always email us. If you ever can't, just support it, stephencabral.com. If you ever can't find a research study, we'll get it for you, all right? Uh, research study number two, this one is done out of the universe, Rush University's Memory and Aging Project out of Chicago, and it was published in Nutrients. And this was actually done on 1,000 people. So this is not an insignificant study. It was ages 58 to 98, so you get a big 40-year time span there, who are dementia-free at the start of the study. Now, again, this is, let me, just hear me out, and then I'll give you my take on it. All right, strawberries, yes, the fruit, may reduce Alzheimer's risk. Older adults who regularly ate at least one serving of strawberries per week, only one serving per week, like a half a cup to a cup per week, were 34% less likely to develop Alzheimer's than those who ate strawberries once a month or less. The association does not prove causation, but strawberries are known to contain, compo known to contain compounds that have antioxidative and anti-inflammatory properties, which could account for the findings. Okay, so um, again, let me share with you. Do I believe that strawberries are the end all be all to stopping dementia and Alzheimer's? The answer is no. However, and so that's why I totally agree that this is not correlation equal in causation. I believe that you could have substituted blueberries, wild blueberries, cherries, strawberries, or some of your other favorite high antioxidant berries. So I bring this to you here today because a lot of the aging related issues, and I'll be teaching so much of, the, so much of this in January during the, the high performance debut that I share with you, is that you must reduce free radical damage and oxidative stress. And oxidative stress runs rampant in our bodies basically from mid thirties and beyond. That's why we start to age at a much more rapid rate. And that includes the brain. We just can't see it. We can't see it. We see our skin in the outside, all these things in the outside, but we must be reducing oxidative stress. One of the best ways to do that is through whole food, nutrition, antioxidants, strawberries are one of those. So for all the people out there telling you that fruit is bad for you, please don't listen to them. You don't have to get into arguments with them, but just go about your merry way and eat one to two cups of um, high antioxidant organic or wild berries every single day. This is what some of the longest lived people in the world do this is the research that you want to look at, what's actually been proven, what people are doing every day. So I wanted to share that with you. I appreciate your time here today. Again, I'll link everything up, including the Cabral 40 discount for the Cozy Earth pajamas and sheets and much more over at stephencabral.com forward slash 2499. Take care, everybody.